What's up, guys? I wanted to film this so I can share with you what I'm doing. I got a Kylian Mbappe. It's a prism, and it's the red, white, and blue. And, you know, okay score. Centering 9, edges 9, surface 9, corners 8, 5. Just from looking at the card, I just didn't totally agree with it, so I wanted to bust it out and see what's going on. So let me show you. So let's just start with the bag. So the surface was a nine. I see something stuck on the card right there above the PPE. I'm not sure if it's a ripped piece of clear coat or if it's a residue. I see some stuff above the word France. Right in there. Uh, the surface on the front, I mean, that's a huge part of the surface. It looks great to me. Maybe I, okay, I see a little scratch under his arm right there. That's unfortunate. That looks like it's in the coat. But, all right, I mean, maybe a nine. But if I can get this stuff off the back, it'll have to present better. So then, edges, there is a little uh, edge tick at the bottom right there. Like right there. All right, so we'll see what we can do with that. Fortunately, it looks like it's white paint, but it's not. It's just uh, shining. So that corners are eight and a half, and that's a tough one for me because I just don't. The corners look good. That one's a, was a little white. That one's just a little white, and. I'm not sure, I guess. I, that's where I thought it was like an 8 and a 5. 8.5 was rough on the corners. So let's see what we can do. And I'll regrade this and uh, see what we can do with it, all right? So let me... First, I just want to start with the edge in the corner. And again, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care. And I like to work on a variety of cards to just make minor little improvements like this when you can. I got this a little... Might be the clear coat on the card. Just there's a little bubble right here. So what I'm going to do is use my straw guys I'm just gonna breathe through the straw and get a little bit of like warm air in this area a little bit of humidity you don't want to be pushing on cards a lot you know you want to get them back into place as quickly and easily as possible in a perfect world so a little bit of warm air helps and I'll do this just probably a couple Time's over and give it a rest. You know, it's I'm not gonna push too hard on it, but I can see it a little bit better like this when you put a little bit of moisture in there. A lot of times this works out. This works really good for corners too. If you have a bend on a corner, put a little moisture, a little bit of humid air in there and the card will work with you a little bit better. Like I said, I didn't really see much going on on the other corner, so hopefully we can get this to bump up. All right, let me show you where we're at. Sorry if my camera's not cooperating. Might be my lights too. Let me... So I got like a smooth edge all the way across, but that little shiny white part, you guys, it's like a peel up. It's like a, um, the clear coat isn't stuck all the way to the card. So that will definitely be noticed because it's not something, it's not a bump. It's just like not sealed all the way in that corner. 
looks like it just has a little bit of missing paint. So like I'm zoomed in real close, right? So like, let's get a better perspective on it. I can, I can see the corner. So here's what I'll do, you guys. You know, you, when you see me use tape a lot, it's usually when there's like a flaky edge problem. When it's something like this, instead of trying to pull that out, I'm just gonna simply go down the edge, meet in that corner, and just leave it sharp as I can be. I can't get that color to come back. But let's work on stuff that we can maybe maybe do, but the edge is flat and smooth. I do see that corner issue, but I don't know if that constitutes an eight and a half. So let's see if we can get any of this stuff off the card too. I got stuff there and above the PPE. So let me change around my workstation a little bit. And I'm just going to use some of my polish, you guys, to see if I can get any of that stuff to go away for me. As we noticed when I had it on the front, there's um, what appears to be a scratch into the clear coat which I know, of course, will be a deduction. But there was like some remnants of stuff here on the back, and I'm hoping we can make some movement with it. All right, uh, just from one application, I got some movement. That stuff that was behind the, the logo, look at how much nicer that looks. But look at, I still got those things right there above the PPE. But geez, just that one little bit of polish up there made this card look totally awake. Looks like brand new. Cool. <laughs> it's the small things. But there are a couple um, scratches going across it too. Let me just do another coat if you guys are cool with that. I like to make a difference quick too, but sometimes you just can't rush. So I'm going to Focus on those little hard spots right there. And if the polish doesn't remove them, I'm going to change gears and go over to the card spray. And if they're removable, one of those two is going to do it. I'm not making a lot of progress with the those spots. So let me... Uh, The ones that are right above is the PPE. And let me just take another good look with you guys. Oh, I see it. It does look like it's something that hit into the clear coat. I looked at it first to me, it looked like it was some sort of residue. Let me just try real quick with the spray. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use a little piece of cotton. A little bit of card spray and to see if that will help it out. If this doesn't do it, we will uh, leave it alone. Hell yeah, that's what card spray is for, you guys. I got it. Check that out. Whatever that crap was, it almost looked like dried plastic. It's gone. Sweet. I almost was doubting uh, that turnaround. Hell yeah, that is much better. All right, Killian, we're doing it for you, buddy. So I might come back and look at that corner a little bit, but like I said, there's not a lot you can do when you're missing a little bit of paint there. The front looks really good to me. I did catch that little, there's a, a decent sized clinger right there under his arm, but let's just give the whole front a polish. Um, if you can't fix a certain issue, just focus on the stuff you can do really. You know, like I know we can make this card a lot more presentable just by putting a nice shine on it. It was in the slab for a bit. 
And, uh, I mean, I guess it's protected and stuff, but it just, the card overall looks a little bit, just a little bit more dull than most of the other prisms that I've been messing around with with this set. So I just hope that this gives it a really good cleanup, really good shine, and hopefully we can improve the score. I know it's not going to get a gem mint with a little bit of a white corner, but I'll take a PSA 9 over any other 9, you know? But we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll take a look at this corner real quick with you guys, too. Let's see if we do, were able to do anything with those little scratches. Damn. Look at that, you guys. Holy crap. I didn't think that that was gonna come up. Well, this is sweet. This is a really good, this is a really good thing. I'm glad I videoed this. Cause I'll tell you guys, like, I cracked like three slabs yesterday. And the last three, I tried making videos for you guys. And each of them had like a little chip or a little ding or something in the surface, like little, like permanent things. I couldn't do anything with them. And I'm like, gosh, I was on a cold streak. And this one totally worked out. So my point is be consistent. Don't, don't try to clean up one card. And if it doesn't work for you, be like, all right, I quit. You know, I cannot believe that those scratches came out from under his arm. They must, to me, it looked like a, an indented scratch, but it must have been just some sort of real light, you know, maybe remnant of plastic or something just laid on the surface because it all looks like a scratch and it's laying on the surface, but it totally went away. And the, oh yeah, you see how you can just see the texture now of all the shine in it? This looks freaking awesome. So let's look at the back again real quick. That's guys. When I have people ask me, what do you, what's when do you use card spray? We put two applications of polish on there. It didn't do any. It made it shiny, but it didn't do anything. Then we put the card spray on there and got that Mbappe those spots right above the P off. I got a little bit of like I said, just a little bubble there in the clear coat. But when you look at it in regular light, man, you can't even really see it. But I'm I'm prepared for it to be scoped out hard. And then the corner is just a uh, not perfect. You know what I mean? Sorry, I was looking at it off camera. It's just, you know, maybe I'm gonna put a little bit of painter's tape on there and see if I can do anything. But that's what I wanted to show you guys was hopefully I could have got that, it worked out. And then the dang scratches. Thank you card gods for that. All right guys, thanks for watching, man. I'll have more cool stuff coming up. I got a couple more soccer cards I'm gonna do. And uh, I'll always keep it fresh. Uh, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Hope you have a great afternoon and uh, take care of yourself and somebody else. I'm Kurt with Kurt's Card Care.